Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of the Madden 08 PC instructional series. What we'll be looking at in this video is how to install the Football Freaks Football Idiot mod in Madden 08 PC. It seems that some users get a little tripped up during this installation and it's fairly simple. There are a lot of steps to it, but it's not real difficult to do. So I thought it'd be a good idea to go over this with you. The first step is to go to the footballidiot.com website and when on the board index page, you can choose any main topic and in this case I'll choose frequently asked questions then under the announcement section inside you'll find the topic starting guide for new players the reason for this is this announcement is because there is a ton of good information and links contained in this thread especially the opening post that is kept up to date by our friend Reven Fan. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to proceed on the assumption that you have completed the steps in the first few paragraphs, uh, and that's installing the game itself on your PC and making sure that it's running correctly uh, before you do any modifications at all. If you haven't, please follow this guide and make sure that you have Madden 08 installed and working properly uh, to accomplish all the steps that are going to come next. Now, I might add that if you don't have 7-Zip installed or at least another program like WinZip or WinRare that's going to open and extract a zip file, uh, you really need to download that because you won't be able to open these files without it. Now, starting on paragraph six of this starting guide for new players, you want to click on the link that says, by clicking on this link. This will take you to the thread for the Football Freaks Football Idiot mod. Once there, you'll find links to the files that need to be downloaded. Now, please note the dates on the links because that's going to tell you the last time there was an up to the update to that file. Uh, click on the link that says Core Files and then you'll be taken to a mega limited web page where you can download the core files uh, the zip file that actually contains the core files. This will most likely take the longest of all the processes for this installation and depending on your internet speed it may take a couple of minutes. After it finishes you'll be presented with a save as window and you can navigate to where you'd like to download it to. Now keep in mind that you'll have to extract these files so putting them all in a single folder that may prove challenging to keep everything separated. As you can see I have made folders for each zip file in my downloads folder but you can do whatever is comfortable for you. After you download it you need to do the same for each of the other required zip files and there are five of them. When you're all done with that you need to go back into each of those folders that you just created because you need to extract these zip files and if you made a folder for each file you can just select extract here in the drop down menu for a zip 7 zip and it'll all be in the folder that you just created. After that's done, for each of the five required zip folders that you downloaded, you're ready to install the files where they need to go in order for the mod to work right. 
So starting with the core files, navigate and open the core files folder and open the installation instructions. Here we see that you download these files into the documents folder. A couple of notes before we get started is that you have two DB templates files and depending on if you want to use Roger Jinx overall calculations or not will be the determining factor as to which of these files you wish to use. I'll show you how to how to change names later. And the play data files, which there's two of them, determine if you want to use the original Madden 08 equipment or the new equipment made by Q. So let's first start by transferring all the files into the documents folder. And in my case, it's inside the documents Madden NFL 08 folder. Here is where we need to modify those two files that we talked about in the instruction page. I choose to use the original overall calculations, not saying that Roger Jinx aren't accurate and very good. It's just that I happen to do a lot of editing of my franchise file in NZA 1.3 and if you use Roger Jinx overall calculations, NZAs will recalculate them to the original settings. So not very good for, for franchise uh, files if you're going to do a lot of editing. Therefore, I highlight the name of the file that I need to modify by clicking, uh, excuse me, left clicking the file twice, slowly, and putting my cursor at the end of the file name and changing it to what I need it to be. In this case, I add a hyphen and Roger Jinx to the name of the DB templates file so that I know it's his. Click outside the name box and you'll be asked if you really want to change the name of the file and you want to click yes. I then modify the overall original file by deleting everything beyond period DAT and that changes that file as well again you'll need to let the PC know that changing the name of the file is okay. Now I could do the same to the play data file but I want to use Q's equipment so I leave those files alone. You can change them as well if you choose to use the Madden 08 original equipment. Now on to the next zip file which is gameplay files and this one is pretty straightforward. The instructions just tell us that these need to be put into the documents folder so we copy those files and transfer them as well. Just paste them into the documents folder. Then comes the primary graphics files. This too is pretty straightforward according to the instructions we just copy them into the documents folder uh, so just copy and paste now comes the program files and according to the instructions this is a little bit different both launch.dat files need to go into the installation folder so you first copy those two fold files, navigate to your install folder, and in my case, it's C program files for the 8600, EA Sports, Madden NFL 08. And then you paste them into this folder. Now, you should have a pop-up box that asks if it is okay to replace the launch.dat that is in the folder and of course you want to replace the file because you're replacing uh, that dat file and you have the original that you're putting in there as well now 
go back to your downloaded file folder files and open the folder that says data1 and copy these folders and paste them into the install data1 folder. Again, you'll be prompted to replace the file that is already in there and click on replace the folder. So now that that's done, there's only one more left to do and that's the secondary files, uh, graphics files. The instructions are again straightforward so you just copy those files and paste them into your documents folder. This completes the installation of files that need to be transferred. Now you can open the game from the same startup icon that you were using with the original Madden 08. And after it's open, there's only one thing that you have to do. Click on menu at the bottom of the page and go to file and there you'll see a file that says default roster. Now you load that roster in the game and after it's loaded I generally click on a couple of the teams to show that I did an operation in that file but I don't know that it's necessary it just may be a habit that I've developed to be a little bit more secure about it I guess but go ahead and do that go back to the main menu by clicking down to the bottom the main menu and now you can do whatever it is that you wish to do start a franchise superstar or just go into an exhibition game now you should be able to be playing with the current stadiums and roster because it's been updated through the date or uh, the dates in this case of the downloaded zip files uh, that were on the footballidiot.com webpage. Now keep in mind that if you start a franchise or superstar and an update to the mod comes out you won't just be able to install the current mod files. If you're going to want to use the updated mod, you'll have to convert your franchise into a roster, um, then start a new franchise with that roster. But that's a video all in itself. And maybe I'll tackle that one soon enough. But for now, you should have a working Football Freaks, Football Idiot mod uh, attached to your Madden 08. Just a quick reminder on the mod release thread page, uh, there are lots and lots of links to extra stuff that would really make the game uh, experience outstanding. Now, if you would like some of these things put into tutorial, uh, instructional video format, I would be happy to do it. Some of the things I'm going to have to be a little better educated on, I guess, uh, like Madden Amp, I'm not very well versed in that. So I would have to uh, get up to speed on that. I would be happy to do it. Just put it in the comments down below and um, I will make that happen. Thanks for watching this instructional video and I hope that it has some information in it that you can use to make the game experience better. I just know that this mod, for me anyway, makes this game light years ahead of what the, the original Madden was. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and if you want to be notified when the next one will be out, why subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified. If you have any comments or feedback, leave them below in the comment section and I'll try my best to get back to you. And until the next video, so long for now and have a good day everyone.